I'm Kaylee and I'm a junior. Hi, I'm Delaney and I'm a freshman. We're from Skett Catholic. I like your work! Good job! And this poem is called, An Ode to the Woman They Thought I Would Become. An empty landscape stretches before me. The dead grass gets tangled in the wisps of the autumn wind. It's supposed to call me, but this time I hear the rustle of their comments. Why don't you come out of your room? Why are you so quiet? Why don't you go out on the weekends? The nightmare, it starts dark, then fades to gray, and I see what's happening around me. Why, Why can't, can't you, you be, be more like, like her? her? A mirror appears, and I see my reflection, but it's not me, it's her. I know she hates me, but I'm not going anywhere. Pale white porcelain skin with silky smooth hair and diamonds in her eyes. Her cherry red lips and rosy cheeks make her look innocent. It's lonely. We're the only two here. We stand still. Her cold calloused hand molds into my soft warm one. And, and we, we hold, hold our breath. She is a part of me, but I am not, will not be her. We, we wake, wake up to darkness, darkness only, only our labored, labored breath to fill it. it. I'll be fine. She tells the corner of our room, I'll be fine, just give me some air to breathe. She whispers to our window, it feels like I'm suffocating. Like I'm drowning in fire. I wrap my arms around my chest and close my eyes. I take deep breaths and count to three. A cold hand rests on my shoulder, but I don't brush it off. She sits next to me on the bed and her heavy breath fogs in the cold air. She's stronger than me, but more fragile. We, we are, are completely, completely different. different. I'm made up of fragments of other people's opinions of me, super glued together with unreasonable expectations. But her pieces don't fit together perfectly, leaving jagged edges that keep others at a distance. I am made up of my own free will, tied together with creativity. She is in free fall, and I'm there to catch her when she crashes. They, they tell, tell us we don't belong. I, she, we. We fade, fade into the darkness of our mind and hum the tune of Uptown Girl to distract ourselves. We're just two girls in a world that turned its back on us. As we hide in the back of my subconscious, away from the jeers and lectures of the world, we, we told, told stories of brave girls in silver armor who will win the war. And when they throw rocks at her, I will glue the shards back together. Because porcelain can be broken. We, we stop trying to conform to them. them. You see, I am made of a flesh and bones and warmth, not cold clay, that was molded by society. So I have to thank her for existing. She was my alter ego when I needed strength. My alter friend when I was crying. My, my altar when I was praying for something good to happen. I look at her and see how she has affected me. Not all good. Not all bad. But, but what in this world are either of those things?